Good morning from Magic Kingdom. Today is the ultimate ride challenge day. It is the day of a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. So we're here in the morning to see how many rides we can get done before noon. So let's do it. The park just opened and we're headed to Jungle Cruise. So far there's a little bit of a line, but we'll see how quick we can get through it. We are just about to get on and that was a 10 minute wait. Not bad at all for Jungle Cruise. I'll take it. Not bad at all. We're gonna head over to Pirates of the Caribbean, the next door neighbor ride. Let's see how long this ride is. Looks like it's down right now, unfortunately. We'll continue on. Five minutes for Big Thunder Mountain. We're gonna go do that. But in the meantime, look at the progress on Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Coming soon, I think early 2024. So it'll be here before we know it. Here we are, Big Thunder Mountain. Five minute wait. Let's go do it. I should explain too, you're probably wondering why the wait times are so low, even though it's the morning. So this is the day of a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party day. Usually the park closes around 9 or 10 p.m., but on a party day, it closes at 7 p.m. So usually people don't buy full park day tickets on the day of party days, which leads to lower wait times, which means more fun if you come. We are making our way straight down. We didn't even have to worry about going through any of the back rooms at all. But we are at row six. We completely walked right on. It's such a deal. There we have it, a walk on for Big Thunder Mountain. Not a bad deal at all. Honestly, we could hop back on it again if we really wanted to. For a time reference, it is about 9.30 right now. So it's only been about a half hour that we've been in the park and we've already been able to get two relatively big Magic Kingdom rides done, which I think is a huge plus. Now we're actually gonna head over to Fantasyland area to see what the rides are looking like over there. We have to do Haunted Mansion, because after all, we are happy haunts today. Stopping to look at the wait times briefly. Look at Haunted Mansion, 13 minute wait. That means it's a walk on. Mickey's Magic, 15, usually not very low, but look at Peter Pan's flight, 30 minutes. We're gonna have to maybe do that one next. Small World, five. There are three that we can knock out very easily right now. Here we go with 35 minutes for Peter Pan. Let's see how long it actually is. It did look like Haunted Mansion's wait time was bumping up a little bit, but honestly, I'm gonna hop in line for Peter Pan's flight. This is one of the more popular rides here at Magic Kingdom. And the longer we wait, the longer the line we'll most likely get. But it's a good sign that we're already in the building and there's no line outside the building. Let's see how long it is. Here we go, about to get on Peter Pan's flight. There's only a 15 minute wait, so half the posted wait time. That's amazing. Let me get some pixie dust. Thank you. All right, here we go. Come on, everybody. Here we go. says Peter Pan is 40 minutes. I would assume it's probably closer to 20. Now we are gonna head into It's a Small World because it is a five minute wait. Let's hop on it. It is currently 10.15. We have done, now it's going to be four rides, but officially three rides in an hour, which I think is huge. We have a little bit left to see how many more rides we can get until noon. I don't know, we're doing well so far. Getting on, literally, no wait again. Let's do it. That was Small World, not a bad wait time at all because we just hopped right on. I like Small World for a couple of reasons. It's good for a couple of reasons. One, it's a good AC break. Two, it's a longer ride so you can go and really sit and rest your feet. Another thing is it generally doesn't have a long wait time during normal park days here at Magic Kingdom, so that's one that you can come check out. Right now we're gonna head over to the Little Mermaid ride, the aerial ride. This is another ride that usually doesn't have a long wait time here at Magic Kingdom, so we're gonna head towards the back of the park. We aren't gonna do it right now, but I will recommend the Enchanted Tales with Belle character meet and greet with you. This is such a fun little interactive meet and greet with Belle that you can interact with her and it's like a little show. It's so immersive, so engaging. Highly recommend that one. Seven Dwarves here is another one I'd like to do this morning. I think right now it says it has a 40 minute wait. I'll have to see if that's true, but maybe we'll have to catch this one a little bit later. Here we go, ride number five, five minute wait. This is Ariel. 
Like I said earlier, this ride usually doesn't have a long wait time, so if you're looking for a quick ride here at Magic Kingdom during a normal park day, Ariel will help you out. Okay, so yet again, another walk-on ride for us. Yay, here we go. Getting on the Little Mermaid. We just had to walk right through, so that is a good deal. We made it out of the Little Mermaid. Such a good ride. While we are back near the Storybook Circus, we have a five minute wait for Dumbo, so for an easy little ride, we're gonna hop on Dumbo. Thank you. Look at this. We get to run right on. Let's get the show on the road. We're gonna go with this Dumbo that has a little purple hat. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! Up here on Dumbo. Coming in for the landing. Good ride number six. Wanted to point out on the ground, look at all of the little peanuts. And there's also a hidden Mickey right here. Do you see this big round circle? There's two little elephant tracks that make it a hidden Mickey. Fun. Since we're in the area, we are gonna hit up the Goofy Barnstormer because I think it's a five minute wait as well. But there's a ton of meet and greets you can do here at Magic Kingdom that also have a super quick wait time. Right now, I think you can meet Minnie, Daisy, and Goofy over here at Silly Pete's Slideshow, and they have about a 10 minute wait. <laughs> Yay, we have had such a good time so far. We've hit seven rides. It is just now turning 11 o'clock, which I think is pretty good. But when you're running around these parks, you have to stay hydrated. One of my favorite ways is just going to quick service restaurants and asking for free glasses of ice water. We need to go do that, and then we're gonna try to knock out three more rides to get 10 by noon. Let's see if we can do it. We made our way over to the teacups. Let's go, let's do this as ride number eight. I think it's at a five minute wait, so that's not bad at all. Okay, let's go choose a teacup. I think this one is perfect. Here we go, hopefully you guys don't get too dizzy. Start spinning a little. Woo! For our water break, we're gonna head into Cosmic Rays. We're just gonna ask him for a glass of ice water, and then we're gonna continue around, maybe at the speedway, I don't know. Yay, thank you so much. There's our glass of water, now let's keep on going. This water was very much so needed. It is super warm out today, but I think we're gonna head to the People Mover next. It says it has a 10 minute wait. It is about five minutes for People Mover. It is 11.15 right now, we have 45 minutes. Let's see what we can do. Look at Minnie, my backpack is glowing. Also, look at our Happy Haunt shirt. Do you see a glow? Oh, it's so fun. It's a five minute wait. We're gonna do the Tomorrowland Speedway and then hopefully hop on Space Mountain and call that our 11th ride. Look at this. I know it's so loud, but not too bad of a line. That's amazing. Okay, we really need to speedy around this speedway. Space Mountain, we're coming. We're trying. So far, we're looking good though. It's been a while since I've done this one. All right, here we are driving. Doing good so far. Trying to get around the track. It's 11.40. We got off the speedway. We're gonna make it to space as our 11th ride. And our lovely friend Janelle met up with us, gave us some water and some popcorn to fuel us for the rest of our journey. There's Space Mountain, so close. We're gonna make it. I'm so excited. I didn't think we would get to 11. Here's the thing, this line is not bad at all. Usually it's like snaked around all in this room. It says it's a 40 minute wait time, but I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be that long. Here we go, we're getting on. It's only a 10 minute wait. Well, there you have it. That was 11 rides we did here at Magic Kingdom from the morning from 9 a.m. to noon. That was insane. I was not expecting to get that many rides. So we really made the most of our time and the wait times weren't bad today. I think the longest we waited was maybe 15 minutes for a ride. So that was pretty good. If you're interested in having a day like this at Magic Kingdom, I recommend coming down in the fall months whenever Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is happening. And if you're wanting to experience Magic Kingdom like this, I recommend getting park hopper tickets for the days that a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party happens. They don't happen every day during the fall. So make sure you're looking at the calendar, see what days the parties are happening and get a park hopper ticket whenever the park closes for the party. Go ahead and hop to another park and go do some fireworks, get a bite to eat, or just check out what the other park has to offer. But thanks so much for running around the park with me today. I had a blast checking out all of these rides. If you are coming to Magic Kingdom and you've never been before, here is a video with things to know before coming to Magic Kingdom and some Disney planning tips if you need them. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Enjoy your trip to Magic Kingdom if you guys go down. We'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.